He has eight points and one steal as well. He's making such good decisions with his passing and also being aggressive and getting to the line by drawing fouls. Well, that's an excellent combo to have, I'll tell you that. Aaron Gordon drafted after just one season in Arizona, and it's extremely young for his class. His folks enrolled him in school early because of his size and energy level as a youngster. Nelson kicks to Randall. Griffin with the steal. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Crawford, no luck. The alley-oop is such a fun play to watch, but when it doesn't convert, it's uh, probably the wrong choice. I guess that makes that one a terrible choice. Davis with the block. Nobody it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's Griffin. Six points for him. That doesn't go either for Griffin. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Nelson dishes to Parsons. He feeds it to Bryant. Takes it out to Parsons. Shot clock at five. That's in. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Parsons got five now. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Who was that? Jamal beautiful Crawford. basketball to watch, Clark. For Los Angeles, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Nelson kicks to Parsons. Now the feed to Bryant. They double team Kobe. Nelson, no one around him. Off target from three point range. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there, not yet anyway. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. He tried to shoehorn along the sideline, but he stepped out of bounds. Pretty good defense there to force the turnover. Well, they've really kind of struggled offensively here. So I think this timeout is for him to really draw something up, maybe get an easy two and get their confidence back. You know, sometimes an easy basket out of a break is just what you need to get things back on track. And coaches always have plays specifically for that situation, coming out of timeout for an opportunity to get a bucket. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. swap here for the Clippers. <clears throat> Davis with a screen on Nelson. Lock at six. On the wing, Davis. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Lakers in the lead. Well, you know, last season the Lakers found themselves in a position they are not quite accustomed to. The last in the Western Conference, a nightmare season for the story franchise. Nelson. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. The Lakers have converted one of two free throws so far today. Yeah, very average shooting team uh, in terms of the free stupid, throw line. About 76% a year ago. 25-27 on halftime. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
And the second free throw, good. Another trip to the stripe for him, and I tell you what, a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging going on. This team is never afraid to get physical. I think they enjoy this style of play. 16 feet away. Douglas Roberts' shot is off. Well, guys, as we know, there were some low points for the Lakers along the way, losing to the Clippers by about 50 points, which turned out to be the biggest loss in the history of the franchise. And Kobe looked visibly distraught after that loss. I mean, it still had a backhanded compliment to say about it when he said, well, now I know what it feels like to be a Clipper fan all these years. Got to love Kobe. Yeah. Always put away with words. Farmar passes it to Douglas Roberts. They set the pick. Come on, man. Good. Just they Douglas can't afford Roberts. to give him that kind of look. Well, they came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to fight over the top of that. Oh! 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 Up high and down hard. That's good. Yeah, that's why you use it, brother. <laughs> Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Look at that. Oh. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might well tell the story in this one. And that should tilt things toward them. They've been winning that battle. And Parsons gets it to go. Boy, that is a tough shot. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, Julius Randle drafted out of Kentucky after one season. He fits that classic power forward mold. 6'9", strong, physical, great rebounder, and scores with his back to the basket. some changes. <sighs> Clippers trail 5-7. And Randall regarded as a good outside shooter in high school. Didn't really show that, though, at Kentucky. And I think he wants to show that he can be a floor spacer at the NBA level, but it may take some time. That would really help him offensively because he is a tad undersized at the power forward spot. So being able to shoot it from the perimeter will go a long way in his development. Here's Nelson following the basket by Blake Griffin. Up top, Kobe. He's got nine. And that one's good. Bryant got 11 points. Uh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Here's Paul. That drops and it comes oh off an assist God. from Jordan. Oh, that's what superstars are about, right? There. Six points for Chris Paul. Superstars make shots like that. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's Nelson. Nelson, right side, six on the shot clock, shoots from the elbow, it's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. Riven sets the screen for Paul, kicks it out to Gordon. Second shot opportunity, count it in the Laker lead, has been cut down now to just three on the bucket from Griffin. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. Now, here is Nelson. That's good from Davis on the assist by Nelson. They got, he Davis has to, though, because I'll beat you off the dribble. In this one. And 
yeah, they're moving the ball now. Eight of their last ten <laughs> points coming off assisted buckets. Steve, nothing makes a coach smile as much as pure selfless teamwork. And stolen by Randall. Damn, uh, pass interference. <laughs> and the first half ends <laughs> in a Lee close one. The, the Lakers on top, up by five. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Man, I hate this fucking six shit, man. Damn. We have a close Nose ball game on our shit hands as Texas we get set for the second half of basketball. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. He is a is that dynamic one of the plays scorer, that guys. That much came into play when he was his talent was on Apple full display dumb. there in the first half. Steve, he is a hard man to keep down, and so far, they've been unable to do it. They both stupid, man. I still get mad when I think about that, man. Oh, man. My biggest question to God is, why do you punish a whole section of people just because of what two people you made did? Like, I have nothing to do with that. Dude. I know what... Hey, hey, Texas, I understand what you're saying. I respect what you're saying. Like I said, I probably wasn't born for another... Yeah. Probably one more for another billions of years. <laughs> Nothing to do with it, huh? But back to the game. I'm done on Los Angeles team. leading by five. Nelson is out there with Kobe. Back then door? Chandler Parsons. Then it's Randy. He denies we're gonna back door, guys. Center. That's who's in the nice. game for the Lakers. Go. Punches it down with pop. Rubs it in. It looks yeah, like a little deeper shooting. with the hanging finish. Well, they're not backing off at all, are they? Uh, ah. Here's Griffin. Ooh. Off target from the wing. Randall with a screen for Nelson. And there's the call on Matt Barnes. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Davis with it on the wing. Kobe releases from 15, and he gets the bucket. And now it's a nine-point Los Angeles lead. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. Now here's Griffin. Six to shoot. What? Davis with some nice D. Lakers leading by nine. With four spacing, Steve, more important than ever in today's NBA. Text. Some have questioned the play of Griffin you started, and Jordan just, and you know. the Clipper frontcourt. Well, I think it's worked out uh, just fine. I think they could add a stretch four behind those two guys and maybe and mix him in during the rotations. But all in all, Griffin and Jordan have played awfully well together at both ends of the floor. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Hey, Kevin. Well, Coach Doc Rivers certainly hasn't minced words since joining the Clippers. He's held each player accountable and defined roles. He told DeAndre Jordan he wouldn't run any plays for him, that he just wanted him to focus on defense. Jordan said, Doc knows how that to reach so people. Smooth. There are quick, egos man. on every team, and he knows how to control all of that. It's honesty. Refreshing, gentlemen. Yeah, let's pack this paint. Champion let's pack of the summer. Oh, yeah. He's one of the best uh -oh. coaches in the league. Thanks, Doris. So Yo, man. <laughs> and for the Clippers, they're How most do you potent do that? offensive you weapons. Chris to DeAndre off ball pick and roll and attacking with oh, great ball know, handling huh? skills and vision. You want to create space for that, but defense more often than not will look to bring help from the front court, and that's when things really open up for Paul in terms of his options. Oh, here's you can Griffin. Have it. You can have a jumper. Following the miss by Aaron Gordon. You can have the jumper. You Griffin can have the jumper. Now guarded by Parsons. The offensive rebound. Jordan's shot is off. You know, his finishing ability leaves a lot to be desired, guys. He needs to take it to the basket. That's hard. Oh. 
Nelson dishes to Bryant. 